Hi. Welcome to Movie Synopsis. We see the film starts in a courtroom. In front of the judges, a man named William stands with his family. In William's family, there were five kids and a wife. Thomason was her eldest daughter, and Caleb was her younger son. There were twin children and a little child. The judges claim that you have always been warned by us to follow our rules. You're extremely strange, you always act in a way that seems right to you. After hearing William claims in his defense. Whatever the rules you've made, I don't like at all. That's why not only today but I'll never follow these rules. If I had to leave this village because of this, I would go. And from there, I'll not go sadly rather I'll go happily after accepting this all. After listening to him, the judges tell him that it's okay if this is your decision. You'll be banished from this village today, so leave this village. William with his family departs the village. He arrives in a jungle after taking his family. There, a small house was made and they begin to live there. But everything was in short supply. The next day, Thomason, his oldest child, takes her younger brother to visit. While she was playing with him the baby suddenly vanishes from there. He was actually being stolen by someone. Thomason gets confused after seeing this. She starts to rush here and there, and begins to find her brother everywhere. However, she doesn't see the child anywhere because a witch kidnapped that baby. The witch was quite vicious that she cuts the infant and then removes his blood. After preparing the paste, she later applies it over her entire body. Later, she starts to act strangely. After seeing her, it seems like her powers were increasing. The next morning when Thomason was sleeping. In the meantime, her brother Caleb arrives and starts to see his sister Kinley. Thomason gets up meanwhile. Upon spotting Caleb there she inquires, what are you doing here? He claims that I have come here because I have a small task here. He was about to leave but after seeing this. Thomason felt odd and was really perplexed. Later, Caleb goes with his father William to the forest for hunting. Caleb claims that after seeing you, it seems to me, as you don't have any sadness on the loss of my brother. It suggests his loss didn't bother you that much. After hearing this William says you're right. I don't feel very upset over the baby's loss because he wasn't our own child. We had found him on the side of the road. Thus I believe he would have entered hell because he didn't have parents. When Caleb hears this, he gets shocked. William also tells Caleb that we should seek forgiveness of our sins before death. This indicates if we have done something wrong, we should seek forgiveness. As a result, God will become happy and we will enter paradise in this manner. They find a rabbit in the meantime. But when William tries to shoot it, he gets somehow hurt. William's twin children were playing outside the house on the other side. One was a girl, the other a boy, and they were both having fun and mischief. Thomason intervenes them from committing mischief. But they pay Thomason no attention at all and begin to play with their black goat. As the black goat was about to murder them. William eventually shows up and stops the goat. He locks the black goat in the shed. Later, Thomason's mother rebukes Thomason. If anything would have happened to the kids, Thomason would be faulty. Because Thomason is disliked by everyone at home. They treat her as if she was their stepdaughter rather than their own. When Caleb's mother learns that he has gone into the jungle. She rags and asks why he'd gone into the jungle. She asks, what would I do if something happened to you? After hearing this, Caleb declares that we went into the jungle to track down the wolf. That had taken our younger sibling. After hearing this, she responds, okay, whatever it is but next time you won't go into the forest. The following day, Thomason was washing the clothes at the bank of the stream. And Caleb was also with her. Meanwhile, her younger sister also comes there. She begins to make fun of her and tells her that you're a witch. Thomason becomes enraged after hearing this and responds, Yes, I'm a witch. Because I'm the most unique and my heart is the purest. Because of this, the devil has chosen me. After taking signatures on his book, he turned me into a witch. It's my responsibility to eat children, and I'll eat you too. She gets terrified after hearing this. Later, 
Caleb claims that she is telling a lie she isn't not a witch but rather a human. Whatever she said it only exists in stories. However, Thomason's sister after calling her a witch, runs away from there. Later, at night everyone was dining and Thomason's mother asked from Thomason. Have you seen our silver cup? Thomason says no, I have not seen that. Her mom warns her don't lie, I've seen that cup in your hand last time. Actually, William has sold that silver cup and bought a gun in exchange. But he doesn't tell anything to his wife about this. Their goats start to make noise all of a sudden. As she goes to see the goats Thomason discovers the same black rabbit. That William and Caleb had spotted in the forest. After seeing this black rabbit, Thomason becomes shocked. In the next scene, William and his wife were conversing. Here, William's wife says, I can claim this. That our daughter isn't normal, she is cursed. So, keeping her at home isn't a great thing, thus we should throw her out of the house. If we keep her around, we'll be ruined. After listening to this, William advises not to overthink it because it isn't like this. If you want to keep her away from the house I'll appoint her on a job at my friend's house. Thomason listened to everything from another room. After hearing her parents' statements her heart completely breaks and she becomes depressed. The following day, Thomason and Caleb visit the jungle to view the traps. That they have placed to catch the animals. They find a rabbit in the trap and they become happy to see it. While taking it when they were returning home. They observe the black rabbit on the way. Thomason gets perplexed to find it here as well. When the dog sees the rabbit, he starts to chase the rabbit. Later, Caleb pursues it while holding the rifle. Despite Thomason's several attempts to stop him. He doesn't listen to her and he doesn't stop. As Thomason goes there her horse throws her down. Thomason as a result collapses and passes out. When she awakens, she doesn't find Caleb anywhere. As soon as rushes toward home alone, William was already there. He was finding Thomason and Caleb while calling their names. When he notices Thomason alone, he asks about Caleb. After crying, Thomason remarks that I have lost my brother Caleb as well. Later, the scene shifts on Caleb, who was still in the jungle alone. He was moving ahead with confusion. Later, he sees a hut and a lady emerges from who was quite attractive. She was actually a witch. She makes an effort to trap Caleb with her words. And Caleb got caught in the trap. Later, she brings Caleb inside her tent with her. Because of Caleb, everyone was quite concerned. They hear the goats bleating once more in the meantime. Thomason comes out to see them because of this. She also sees Caleb there, who hasn't worn the clothes. He was seriously hurt, which is why Thomason brings him inside the house. There, Thomason and her mother treat Caleb. The following day, we see Thomason, who was milking the goat. There, her twin siblings tease her and irritate her by calling her a witch. Thomason becomes shocked to see the blood instead of goat milk. She becomes quite worried. William was preparing to go into the village. He informs his wife that when I'll go into the village, I'll find work for Thomason and a good physician for Caleb. She says the doctor can't do anything because the witch has done black magic on Caleb. He says nothing is like he is only injured. Later, we see Caleb wakes up and while saying something. He begins to agonize strangely and his mouth begins to bleed. When William opens his mouth, an apple pops out. That was rotten, and after seeing this, his mother claims that the witch has actually cursed him. The twin kids tell their mom that Thomason is doing this all because she is a witch. She has told us that she is a witch. They become astonished to hear this. Thomason argues in her defense that I've said that but I was only having fun. Later, William requests everyone to pray from God so Caleb can get better. The twin kids later begin to have stomach aches. Later, Caleb feels severe body pains. He laughs oddly and passes away there. Everyone becomes depressed after seeing this and begins to cry. Thomason exits the house and starts crying. William arrives later and after comforting her, he asks. My dear daughter, now explain what you did with your brother Caleb. Thomason after hearing this says, Papa, what are you saying, why would I do this? He was my brother, 
and I feel hurt that you're thinking me a witch. Actually, I consider my twin siblings witch. Because the devil first appears in black goats, I consider our black goats as the devil. My twin siblings also converse with the black goat so often. William becomes so ragged after listening to this that he drags Thomason inside the home. And after seeing Thomason and his twin children, he tells Thomason. If your twin siblings are witches then you're a witch as well. Later, he imprisoned three of them in the goat shed. Their black goat was also present there. Here, William tells Thomason. That he will take you to the village the following day. So you can stay away from the house and work there. After saying this he departs, later, he buries Caleb with the help of his wife. At night, William's wife sees her son, Caleb who was carrying a baby in his lap. William's wife becomes delighted to see both of them. Caleb tells his mother, Mama, if you like me to come here. I'll come here every day just to see you. However, before I do that, I need your signature on a book. On the other side, the twin kids hear weird noises in the shed. In a while, a horrific witch appears there. Three of the siblings become terrified when they see her. Three of them start screaming as a result. On the other side, Caleb and the infant also vanish in front of William's wife. As a result, she becomes concerned. The following day, when William approaches the shed, he finds all the goats dead. Thomason was also there but she was safe there. In the meantime, William's body is being penetrated by the black goat's horns. As a result, William becomes injured. However, the black goat doesn't stop there. He inserts his horns once more into his body and murders him this time. After seeing this, Thomason becomes afraid and begins to shout. As William's wife arrives, she severely beats Thomason. She says, I'm sure you've done everything. Which kind of girl you are, you've spoiled your own family by killing her. I won't leave you nor I forgive you. Despite this, Thomason in her defense, makes her understand a lot. That trust me I didn't do anything like this. I didn't kill anyone but Thomason's mother doesn't listen to her. By squeezing her neck, she tries to suffocate her. Thomason hits her mother with something in her self-defense. As a result, her mom dies there on the spot. As a result of viewing this, Thomason's depression worsens. Because her whole family has been died. After losing her whole family. She approaches the black goat and tells him I need to talk to you. If you understand my words then respond to me. The black goat eventually changes into the devil. He keeps a book in front of Thomason and asks her to sign and become a witch. Thomason agrees with this despite her opposition. She signs on the book and the black goat transforms into its actual form. And takes Thomason to the middle of the jungle. There were numerous witches performing a ritual in front of the fire. All the witches eventually start to fly into the air. Thomason starts to fly into the air after seeing this. Thomason becomes happy to see her flying into the air. Here, the question arises that why Thomason was picked by the devil? And why did Thomason decide to become a witch on her own? And what has happened to Thomason's twin siblings? The answer to the first inquiry is understood by Thomason's statement. When she was telling her sister that I am a witch, she had already informed her sister that only those are chosen by the devil, who are good and pure-hearted, and after choosing these people, the devil makes them witch. No one else in their family was as pure as Thomason. She was picked by the devil to become a witch because of this. Additionally, nobody loved her, instead, they all hated her. Whatever went wrong, Thomason was the only one who was accused for this all. Despite this, she never complained and tolerated this. After she'd lost her everything then she made a choice on her own. That I'll become a witch. Here, Thomason has done this so she can live happily after being a witch. That's why, when she was flying into the air, her eyes were beaming with joy. Thomason's twin siblings were murdered by the evil-faced witch. Because only two of them had seen her and Thomason didn't see her. This film ends with this. Thanks for watching.